In these problems, what we have to do is take some values and substitute them into a formula and then solve for the variable that we don't have a number for. This one says use the formula A equals B times H. That sounds like the formula for the area of a parallelogram. Area equals base times height. To find B when the A equals 12 and H equals 3. So we just plug these numbers in for A and H and try to solve for B. So A is 12. B we don't know, so we just leave that. And H is 3. So we've got a formula now that instead of saying A equals B times H, says 12 equals B times 3. To solve for B, we want to get B alone, so we have to get rid of that 3. The 3 is multiplied to the B, so we'll do the opposite to undo that. We'll divide by 3. But we have to do it to both sides, the equal sign, because those are the rules in algebra. When we divide this side by 3, the 3's cancel, leaving B alone, which is just what we want. And on this side, we have 12 divided by 3, which is 4, so B equals 4. Not too hard. Let's look at another one. Now this formula should look familiar to you. Area equals 1 half base times height. That is the formula for a triangle, the area of a triangle. And it says use that formula to find H when A equals 36 and B equals 8. So we'll simply plug these numbers that we have in. Instead of A, I'll write 36. Now I've got my equal sign, my 1 half, my B is 8, so times 8, and then times H, and H is what we're looking for. I think the first thing I'm going to do here is a little bit of simplification. I know that 1 half times 8, or 8 divided by 2 is 4, so I could simplify this just by combining the 1 half and the 8 together to be 4 times H. So 36 equals 4 times H. And now to solve for H, I have to undo the one thing that's being done to H, which is it's being multiplied by 4. So I'll do the opposite. I'll divide by 4, but I have to do that to both sides. Here the 4's cancel. 36 divided by 4 is 9, so H equals 9. All right, one more. And this is a formula, if you haven't seen it before, I'm sure you will in the future. Uh, the formula says F equals 1.8 C plus 32. This is actually the formula to convert between Fahrenheit temperature and Celsius temperature. And we're going to find F when C equals 24. So we don't know F, so we just keep that as a letter. And then we've got 1.8 times C, and C is 24, so this will be times 24 plus 32. So you might want to get out your calculator for this one, 1 1.8 times 24 is 43.2 plus 32. And that would be 75.2. So what basically what this is saying, if your thermometer says 24 Celsius, it's set a little over 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So those are some problems where we substitute numbers into formulas and solve for a variable.